Welcome back to Belgium. It is Adrian Lewis and Justin Pipe in the second round of the European Championship in what is pretty much the definition of a nip and tuck encounter. Never more than a leg between them from the very, very start. One man breaks, the other breaks straight back. Eleven flag, Adrian to Throfer. Yeah, certainly a tight on. affair, isn't it? The three highlights, if you will, have been Lewis's maximum. 119 finish. 42. And George Noble falling up the stairs. Yeah, he managed to get up there this time in a slightly more graceful manner. Which man is going to fall here? Between Lewis and Pipe. Only one can make it through to the quarterfinals. Either Michael Smith 100. or Phil the Power Taylor await. Those two will square off. Yeah, so Anderson and Whitlock following this one, haven't we? And Whitlock again, he needs a run in the tournament, as does Justin Pipe. We mentioned that before. The first of five TV events in the next couple of months, four of them ranked. What a positions could change yeah well this is the first time in four years that Justin Pipe has come into this tournament uh, through the, the Pro Tour ranking so he's not been in the top 16 top 16 getting here automatically and then 16. it's the other guys who are in form and Justin's had to come through that route rather than being in the top 16 for the first time in quite a while and a lot of that's down to a weekend in Holland on the European Tour where he managed to go all the way to the final but he wasn't throwing Anything he was thrown similar to this, really. Whoa. And that's his first maximum. Just a second of the match between the pair of them. Almost apologetic. Well, maybe he's just improving at the right time. No more breaks between now and the end of the match, so now is the time to deliver. Yeah, he made it all the way to the final. He beat a load of young players, really, like some Nathan Aspinall and Josh Payne, and he never threw more than a, a 93 average all the way through the weekend. 50. Came a cropper against Michael Van Gogh in the final, but the 10 grand that he won that weekend has basically shot him up the Pro Tour rankings, got himself here, and he's now got a chance to go and earn some serious money at some major tournament. Just shows you what you can do with the money available on the PDC Tour nowadays. Just have to have one good day. John Henderson... Another example. Yeah, very good example. Ball for Pipe to break again. Gets it, and Justin Pipe goes back into the lead. Yeah. Same as the 119. Gives himself a salute in the back of the net. 1 0 to the crowd. Always love to see the ball finishes, don't they? As we do, I'm sure everybody at home. Well, his finishing has been good all weekend so far, just in fact. The scoring power has not been anything like we expect from him when he's playing at his best, but he's 6 out of 11 on his doubles in this match. He's 52% for the whole weekend. That is good. If you're hitting more than half of your darts at double, you're going to give yourself an opportunity in games. 100. Yeah, danger for Lewis. Right, throwing first in this leg. We've had a few breaks in the last few legs. We've never had more than one between them all the way through the match. This is an opportunity for Pipe to have a little bit more distance at two legs, but 41. not with a treble one. Yeah, important to consolidate, isn't it? Consolidate that break, get a bit of daylight between your opponent, and start putting them under real pressure. There's only one leg between, there's no scoreboard pressure, if you like. Yeah, I noticed that, that purple patch that obviously certainly Lewis has maybe more regular than Justin, Justin certainly capable. Nobody's put two, three, maybe four good legs together. I mean, you, you think when you watch Adrian Lewis play, it's only a matter of time before he, he does that at some point, and a, a first to ten match should be long enough for him to have a spell at some point, but the longer it goes on without him stepping his game up, then the more chance that Justin Pipe has of sneaking his way into the quarterfinals to face either Michael Smith or Phil the Power Tag. He's had nine doubts in this leg prior to this throw. He scored 215. We were speaking just before the sequence I mentioned. It was an opportunity for him to get two legs clear. He's looking in danger of being six apiece again. Trouble 17. Will he tops? 
Yeah, top class set up shot from Adrian Lewis to leave his favour. Can Pipe apply some pressure? Just below the treble bed is where he wants it if he's not going to hit the treble. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. 45. But he wants you to change Are now. He looked like he was going to. Decided to stay there. Lewis hits his favourite tops. So we are back to level. Six apiece. Race to ten. And for the third time in this match, Justin Pipe has broken the Lewis throw, and then Lewis has broken straight back. 140. It's one of them games that has all the makings of a last leg decided. It doesn't always work out that way. But to me, the player putting too much pressure on the other on a consistent basis. One hundred and forty. Good reply. And that's only number two for Adrian Lewis. Mm. Very welcome one. Oh, better scoring from both players. Two one four is in a one eighty in the three throws we've seen so far. We're used to Pipe not doing a lot wrong, but still almost 50 behind. Looks like a decent setup shot here. Yeah, he'll leave himself double 18. And good leg of darts from Adrian Lewis. This well, we almost got a nine with Christian Kist. Lewis looking at a 10. Pipe's going to leave something handy after nine and may not get the opportunity to have a throw. 100. Well, 130 is very gettable. He's already had a ball finish, Justin Pipe. Will he get a poke at it? No, he won't. Ten dart leg from Adrian Lewis. 7 6. And we talked about him moving through the gears and turning on the style. Is this the moment that he's going to do? Still yet to have any daylight between these two players. This the moment Lewis manages to hold his throw with a superb ten dart leg. Sixty opportunity for Lewis now. Is he taking it? He is, you know. Of course he is. The two-time world champion fires in another 180 consecutive legs we've had in from AD Lewis now. And this could be it. Is the foot going to the floor? The average has crept up to nearly 99 for Lewis. Yeah, it's taking its time, hasn't it, to get going and almost slowly simmered, as we've said, through the through the gears. Realising it's actually quite a high-scoring game. Well, certainly. I just didn't see any maximums. That, I think that was the feature. Oh, 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 he's flowing. Got to be 60 on the floor there, slamming into those first two darts. It could be crucial that as well. Yeah, it looked like it was in and out. There was not a room to that bottom dart and the top wire. One hundred. Well, started with five trebles, have one bounce out, fail to find a trouble there, and Justin Pipe might just creep back into this one. We'll try and prevent Adrian Lewis taking a two-leg lead. First time we'll have seen that in the match. It's a great second dart from Justin. Can he find another one? He might need it. 100. Oh, I'm looking for more, but that's not too bad. Still a lot to do, but if he can take out this 143, if he can take out this 143, ooh, almost. Still work to do for Justin Pipe, 106, and it may well have to go. Otherwise, Adrian Lewis will take an 8 6 lead and be just two legs away from a place in the quarterfinals. These, these are the moments where you have to step up and deliver if you're going to have big runs in the big tournaments. 106 for Pipe, gets the first dart in the treble. 
and it's double 13 he hit this earlier I said he liked it and that's why 106 checkout Justin Pipe does deliver seven apiece now well it's fair to say Lewis is in a bit of a purple patch in the last three legs Justin Pipe's 106 keeps him level which is important when somebody else is hitting the maximums like Lewis has a 10 dart leg almost got the 143 only to see Pipe step in and take the 106 yeah and once again Justin Pipe's finishing coming to his aid 58% now on the doubles 7 out of 12 43. it's always going to give you opportunities he only had one dart there to save himself took it certainly turning into a proper 59. battle Second. 100. Lewis may go for it. Sometimes would have looked at the 18 with the first one. The way is it in the treble 20. 174. Well, that is as good as a maximum from AD Lewis. 174. And he's 230 points clear. I mean, he knows three holds of throw is enough, but he doesn't want to have to rely on winning this by, you know, in a deciding leg. Anything can happen. Well, the way the game's gone, it's been a strange old game. Double four for one, two, eight. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the next leg. There we go. The nod of approval.